What's up everybody, welcome to Mike Zuniga Films. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the five modes for your Zion Crane 2 gimbal. And if you wanna learn a sixth one that you may not know of, keep watching. All right, so let's get right into it. The first mode, right when you turn on the camera, it says PF. That stands for pan follow, all right? So I'm already in pan follow mode. What that allows you to do, it allows you to pan the camera, but not tilt. The tilt is locked, as you can see, all right? So why would you use this? What is this good for? It's really great for doing tracking shots. Um, and also, if you are following someone up the stairs or down the stairs, up a hill, down the hill, that way it's locked. So let me show you from a profile view. Let's say you want to follow someone up the stairs or up the hill. There's a joystick back here. I'm just going to press it up to a level that I want and just pretend, let's say I'm walking up the stairs. As you can see, it stays in that uh, angle, right? With the tilt. So no matter what, it stays in that angle. So that is what it's best used for, all right? Now, Let's move to mode number two. I'm gonna press the mode button once and it says an L. L stands for lock mode. So as you can see, it locks in the pan and locks the tilt. What is this good for? Well, this is great if you want to shoot moving hyperlapses. And let's say you are you know, starting here and walking down um, and you want to do a hyperlapse of a building as you walk towards the building, this is great for hyperlapses because no matter what, no matter where you move, it stays in that one direction. Okay, so now let's move to mo mode number three. I'm gonna press this twice. I'm gonna press the mode button twice and you'll see an F. It stands for full follow mode. This allows you to pan and tilt the camera. Now, this is the mode that I use most often. And the reason why is because it allows me to get that full control of the camera as if, you know, I'm filming handheld in a way. It's still smooth footage, um, but I'm able to have a pan and tilt for various angles, various shots that I want to get, all right? So what is this good for? It's a good all around mode to be in um, for like action shots, for, you know, B-roll, things like that. So mode number four is POV mode. So right now I'm still in full follow mode. I'm gonna press the mode button twice and now I'm in POV mode. What this allows you to do is create moving Dutch angles, as you can see. And what this is great for is, you know, adding that extra flair to your video. I see this a lot in music videos. Um, it's a cool thing to add and definitely something that you should try out for yourself with this gimbal. All right, so now the fifth mode is POV mode, but the camera is facing you as if you're vlogging, all right? So I'm gonna press the mode button three times. One, two, three. Now it's facing me. So as you can see, now I'm vlogging. I'm, you know, I can walk and move anywhere. Um, obviously, the as you can see, it's still, it's, since it's still in POV mode, you can still do you know, the rolling um, or the uh, moving dash angles, but you can still control the tilts, you can still control the pans, and you can control the rolls. Um, with the Dutch, Dutch angles, but you can film yourself, as you can see. All right, now to go back, so it's facing um, away from you, you press mode three times, and there you go. All right, so now the bonus mode that I mentioned earlier. This mode is sleep mode, all right? So let's say you want to, you know, place your uh, crane two away for a little bit because, you know, you're speaking to someone in the middle of the shoot, but you don't want to turn off your um, your gimbal. So all you have to do is press and hold down the mode button. All right. And now you can see that 
the gimbal is still on, but it's sleeping. And that way, you don't have to go through the whole process of turning it back on. Usually what I do is when I want to turn it back on and I'm ready to go, I just make sure the camera is balanced. I hold down the mode button until I see that it, it turned on. Um, and that way, I'm ready to go. Thanks again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to learn how to create awesome video content for yourself, I highly recommend checking out the course that I created down below in the link in the description that you can get for free. In the course, I show you how to create awesome video content with just your smartphone, how to edit the videos, how to speak like a pro on camera, and so much more. So, if you want to stop procrastinating and start creating that awesome video content that you always wanted, click the link down below in the description and check it out for yourself. I look forward to seeing you inside. Also, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.